Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen LaBeouf, and I'm one of the founders and also the president of Valence Cell. And as you all know, Valence Cell is the world leader in motion tolerant photoplasmography for wearable devices, whether they're medical wearables, whether they're health, fitness, or sports wearables. We're the company that invented the way to make optical sensing off the body work as you go about your everyday life and putting that into wearables. And so we have been developing a number of metrics. You're probably familiar with our motion tolerant heart rate technology, our motion tolerant heart rate variability, maybe even respiration. But one of the newer technologies we've been developing is blood pressure using this core technology. And we're gonna, we're gonna give you a demo of that today. Now the way this technology works, it has three inputs. It has optical inputs from an optical sensor, the photoplasmography portion. It has inertial inputs from an inertial sensor, in this particular case, an accelerometer. And then also has you enter your metadata. Particularly, it's important to enter your age and your gender and your weight. And this information combined together gives you an accurate assessment of your blood pressure using our PPG-based blood pressure machine learning model. Now, building that model took a lot of data. It took data from 15,000 data sets, about 5,000 subjects, and we collected data on all different parts of the body. We collected data on the ear, we collected data on the finger, the wrist, and even some data on the arm. So I'm gonna demo this technology for you, Dr. Eschbach, who is the director of our biometrics lab here and also manages all of our clinical studies, is has his finger on a valence cell PPG sensor that is collecting his PPG data and that data is being processed on a microchip inside this prototype to estimate his blood pressure. And it's sending that through a telemeter here to the phone. And the, his data here, his systolic data and his diastolic data is being presented. Now our technology takes about 30 seconds to give you your first rating. And then after that, it updates your blood pressure every second. You can see that there are some changes in his blood pressure as he's going about here. Right now, it's reporting his blood pressure is about 120 over 83. So this, this technology is very versatile. We have a demo here on the finger, but we also have been able to make blood pressure work on the ear and the wrist. The finger technology has been a recent source of interest for us because it turns out this is where people want their blood pressure to be measured. And you don't need a blood pressure cuff and you don't need to calibrate. This is calibration free. Now, data collection to develop this technology was implemented using this SQUID system we have here. The SQUID system stands for Simultaneous Quad User Input Device. This squid system is called a squid though, mostly because it kind of looks like a squid. You have all these various different sensors you can put on the person at a given time. Here are four inputs. You might have a hearing aid input into the device. You might have a wrist device worn by the subject. They may have the finger on, on a finger sensing device and also an earbud. And you plug these devices into the squid. So you can measure PPG on these people all at the same time, all this raw data being collected by the squid system. And the squid system is connected to a software platform that lets you see the raw data in real time and also capture that raw data. Sends that data to our cloud so that then you can download it whenever you want and allows us to do some analysis on that data as well. This, this platform allows you to scale out data collection to hundreds of thousands of subjects, which is really important for building these machine learning models based off light in inertial signals and turning that into really relevant medical assessments or, or rather physiological assessments such as blood pressure or even things like cardiac output. Thanks for your time.